Hi there. Thought I'd do a bit of an experiment clip and we'll see how it goes. What I'm doing is I'm taking a couple of these flowers here. These are the Pepita pumpkins. And I'm going to play Dr. Frankenstein. Because on both zucchini bushes we have female flowers but no open male flowers so what I'm going to do is while balancing the camera against my ever-growing mid-region is peel the petals off this flower and then fertilize this zucchini so see what happens there and we'll take this one here and do the same balancing act and try and keep some pollen on it. Yep, there's a little bit of pollen. And pollen cam. We'll take it down here to this one. And we'll dab a little on there. So we shall see what we get. I've done it with a zucchini flower and a butternut squash and we got a butternut squash that was all of what's that? Oh about 15 centimeters, um, 6 inches in length so yes, we'll leave it a few days and see how it goes. Hi there, um, well it's now the 11th of January, um, 5 days after the original pollination and just to show you, I should have marked the zucchinis, but I didn't. It's either this one here, which I think it is, or this one here that we pollinated with the uh, pepita pumpkin flower, the uh, male pepita pumpkin flower. So, um, the seed won't be viable. I won't be growing some mutant plant out of it, as far as my understanding of this goes. Um, but what it does mean is you actually get a larger fruit. You get something that's going to be uh, bigger and... Um, provide you with more nutrient than if you just pulled off a little baby female flower that didn't get pollinated. So that's the main reason I did it. Um, not to try and create a new species or anything like that. I'm not actually sure whether the seeds will be viable. I'll just go down and have a look at the other one. Now down here it didn't take. It's either this zucchini or this zucchini down here. So. Um, we could probably chop them off and throw them in a meal tonight, but as you can see we have a whopper down here that needs to come off as well, so yeah. I just thought it was a good little experiment to do. Um, like I said before, when you pollinate a pumpkin with a zucchini, um, although it does take, just doesn't, nothing much comes from it. Um, but yeah, this way it actually does work. I think I've actually done another clip somewhere, but this is just a better example. I don't think I followed the other one up, so... Anyway, there you go. It's a way to save a female flower from going to waste if you've got another cucubit, like a pumpkin. Have a good one.